Hey everyone, Zion here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today we're doing another episode of birthdays. Uh, so this is part three. And um, so I just thought that we spoke about birthdays and things that we have been doing that we don't understand. So we need to do things with more better understanding and things like that. So I just came here to share a few verses with you and maybe see if in the Bible they had examples that would help us, uh, you know, do things the right way, but with understanding, right? So we know that in some, some examples in the Bible, it didn't really uh, happen. It wasn't a beautiful thing to, to have a birthday. And uh, when somebody was referring to their birthday, I'm going to give you an example of Job because he was really sad and he went through a lot. Job 3, 1. After this, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day of his birth. He said, May the day of my birth perish and the night that said a boy is conceived. In this situation, birthday means the day someone was born. Yeah, it was his birthday. And we see that Job was actually opened his mouth and cursed because he was so hurt and he went through a lot. He cursed his day, which makes me think that Job felt really upset and even said he wished he was never born because he was going through a tough time. But you know, when God brings us into this world, it is like giving a special gift to everyone around. It is like a, 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 a box has been delivered to, to earth. That's how I see it, that every single one of us is like a gift for an assignment, for something, a gift that's going to be used for something. So instead of saying negative things about, you know, our lives, it's good to say positive things about the day we were born. So instead of doing like Job and, and letting emotions and hurt, grief guide our words, we have to do things intentionally. Instead of being distracted on that day or being emotionally confused on that day, I believe it's a good thing that we take the whole month, think about why we are here on earth, the purpose, our purpose. If we don't know what it is, then we take action to find what it is that we're here for. It takes a lot of work and I don't believe just a month is enough for this. So instead of being busy organizing stuff, it is good. Take time to, to have to indulge in, in things that you like to do, right? Ha be happy, enjoy time with family, friends, but also be intentional with this time. Keep in mind that you have to, if you have not figured out why you're already on this earth, Put time aside, invest in that time to figure it out until you find it. If you, if you don't find it, take that time. I believe that it's going to be an even more happy time when you know exactly what you, you're here for and that you're doing it. Then you take the time that now you now have, okay, that's done. That's a box that is checked. I know why I'm here. I know why I know how to do it. Now let me have let me enjoy. Let me have sp spend time with family. You see what I mean? Use your time wisely and intentionally for your own benefit. Because you're, if you're somebody that doesn't know why you're here on earth, you don't know your purpose, but you organize a huge birthday party, it's, it's not benefiting you in any way. Also, we have to think about the fact that there's a lot of drama sometimes around these organizations of having people coming, attending the party, gossiping, all of that. This possibly could happen as well. You will have good people, that, loving people around, but you will also have people that you don't know their deep intentions. Think of it like a time when you can see things clearly and understand your purpose better. And the only way to do that sometimes is to stay uh, separated from people to take time aside and concentrate do some deep thinking it can sound scary because some people are afraid to be all by themselves or alone but trust me it is worth it 
So this time is like a moment to think deeply about yourself and make plans for your life for the next two years, for the next three years, the next five years. What am I supposed to do? God, what do you want me to do? And the more you spend time in God's presence, the more you read his word, the more you clearly know what he wants, what is the purpose for your life for that time. And this reminds me of a Bible verse, Jeremiah 1, 5, where God talks about knowing us even before we were born. So it's a good idea to use the time to reflect, think and plan like, God, you knew me before even I was born, before even I was weaved in my mother's womb. So you got this, you got the plan. So you just have to communicate it to me. And I just have to be able to hear it clearly and know what's the next step in my life. What should I avoid? Where should I go? What should I do? And God has the answer for you. But you can't be able to ans to hear that answer when you have all this other noise around you, parties, or all these all these frequencies distracting you. Jeremiah one five says, "Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet of the nations." Unfortunately, this is a time where we surround ourselves with people with as much distraction as possible so we don't think of deep things and this is the wrong way to do it we invite people that are real people that are fake we forget that only a few people are actually for us and the rest is able to use us or lead us away from our destiny or our purpose in life so what i want to say is the best way to spend your birthday is take time pray figure out why you're on this earth and assess if you're doing it or if you're not doing it and how to achieve this goal. Get to hear what God has to say about your purpose and the reason why you're here. You're here on earth. Have fun, but consecrate some time for God and reflection. That's all I wanted to share today. I hope somebody's blessed and I'll see you next time. Until then, God bless.